Hello, this reading is for Aries. That's Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. This reading is all about your person and what they're dealing with, how they're feeling, um, how they're relating to you, um, and what actions they will take towards you. All right, this is the what is your person thinking reading, okay? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with all Aries, okay? This is also... Um, well, being that it is a general reading, it may, um, the roles may be vice versa, okay? Again, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. All right. There is, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're guided to this reading, there's a message here for you. All right. So let's go ahead and get started, Aries. So we have the King of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so your person is in an energy of rushing towards something here. Um, they also they also are thinking about. Something new in love. Hmm. You know, Aries, I feel like what it is, is this person. Aries, I think this person is actually leaving or not accepting an offer from you of love. They're rushing away from you. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. So this person feels single, um, or they're working on becoming single. There's some kind of painful ending that's here. I feel like this person is leaving because of something that has taken place as it relates to love. Hmm. Let's continue. Okay. So this person... So Aries, this person, okay, feels like things are moving. Okay, so things are moving. This person feels like things, either things are moving too fast or it's a situation of what you want, they don't. I feel like whatever is going on here, you guys are not on the same page, okay? I feel like you are actually with this person and your intentions are pure. And I think that you are looking for love, but this person is not. This person is, is uh, deceptive. There's, I don't see that this person is genuine whatsoever. And I feel like this person is involved. I feel like they have a connection outside of you. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. We have the Star card here. It's here as a challenge. All right. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Why is it here? Okay. So. Okay, so Aries, um, this appears that this person, let me see here with the three of swords, we have the knight of swords here. So I feel like this person, I don't think this person is very genuine. 
Okay, that's the first thing that I'm getting. I, I don't think either this person is not being honest about something. But I, I just get that this person is not... I'm just feeling like they're not genuine. And I will continue to clarify so we can find out exactly what it is. Because I feel like you... Whatever the whatever is going on with this person, you are not enlightened yet about it. Okay? I feel like you are just in an energy of wanting to you just want to you just want to love this person. Okay, I'm not sure when that flipped over, but you're just let me see. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords, please. This person is... Tell me about this Ten of Swords, please. Why is it here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? So this person, I really feel like this person is dealing with someone else. I really do. And I feel like this person is going between the two of you. That's what I'm that's what I'm sensing. That's what I'm picking up here. This person they say they tell you one thing, but they do something else. And I feel like this person is dealing with someone else, possibly an earth sign. This earth sign is at odds with this person right now. And I feel like this person rushes in and out of your life because they're dealing with this other, this other person who could be an earth sign. Now, this other person, they are, tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Tell me more about the two swords. Yeah, this see is this is someone from their past that they're dealing with. Yeah, that this is who they want to offer. This is who they want to make an offer to. And they're holding on to that person. All right, even though that person continues to hurt them, they're still holding on. Tell me about the eight of pentacles. Why is it here? Why is it here, please? This person feels single. Either they feel single or they tell you that they're single. Yeah, so this person is not, this is not an honest person. It's not. Um, this is a trickster. Very manipulative. Tell me about the four of wands. Could be married. Tell me about the four of wands. Yeah, this person's juggling you and another person here. And you are you are not aware that that's going on. That's what's happening here. So there's another person that, this, that your person has hidden um, that they continue to juggle, you know, between you and them. Two of swords. Why is it, you know what? I don't need to. Two of swords. Why is it here, please? Yep, so there's times like when you don't hear from this person and you don't see them, it's because they are away with this other this other person that they're dealing with. Here it is, the options. When you don't see or hear from them, it's because they're with the other person. All right. Let's see, how does this person feel about you, Aries? Okay, so how does Aries person that they're thinking about feel about them? How do they genuinely feel about Aries? What is their true feelings? Death card wants to come out. What are their true feelings for Aries? 
like a true feeling for Aries. How do they feel about Aries? What does Aries need to know about this person's feelings for Aries? Higher good. What do they need to know for their highest good? How about this person's feelings? How they're feeling about Aries? King of Wands. All right. And the Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. This person has a lot of passion for you, Aries, um, but this person is not in love with you. Um, this person is this person is being deceptive. Knight of Pentacles turned over. This person, um, yeah. So I feel like this person has a lot of passion for you. They find you extremely attractive. Um, but this person does not tell you the full truth. Um, but this person is not, they're definitely not in love with you. It's not hard for them to walk away. Yeah, it's not hard for them to walk away. We have the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, and Five of Pentacles. They don't mind uh, being dishonest, being sneaky. They don't mind um, leaving you out in the cold. And, you know, Will of Fortune in reverse wants to come out. Like, this person does not... This, this person is not very honest. All right, tell me more. <clears throat> High Priestess, I feel like you... This is something that you kind of know, Aries, kind of deep down, that this person returns to someone from their past from time to time. And I feel like this is someone that you have cycles with. So I feel like this is not new. This is something that this person has been doing for a while. As far as, you know, back and forth, back and forth between you and another person. All right. Six of cups. Nope. Seven of wands. Why is it here? Yeah, this person feels single. You are in a third party with this person. Like they, it, there's another person that they're dealing with. They do just enough to keep you on the hook, right? This person, they had no intentions on fully investing or being in this relationship. They do just enough. They do just enough to be accepted by you. Okay. Five of Swords. Why is it here? I'm going to take those. Five of Swords. Okay. Five of Swords. Why is it here, please? Yeah, so this person, they are holding on to another lover. And the thing about it is this is going to, they're aware that this, the way that they do things or or the way, the way that, okay. So they're aware that the way that they treat you, um, can be humiliating, right? Degrading. They're aware that them doing this and treating you this way is a, it's a dishonor to you. They know that, but they do it anyway. Eight of Cups, why is it here?
Okay, so the Eight of Cups is here. Okay, because they leave. This is the, okay. They leave, they're holding on to somebody from their past, right? This is what they're doing. There's somebody from their past that they are holding on to. Could be a water sign. Doesn't have to be. Could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. But this is the energy that's here. All right. This is um, this is who they have. They love this person. And they're going to continue to hold on to this person. That's who they go um, see. And this is who they're very passionate about. Right. We have the... Two of Cups, they love this person. And it, it's not to say that they don't have feelings for you, but they will never leave this person alone. The only way it will end with them and this person is if that person leaves them alone. High Priestess, tell me more. So you, so like I said, this is you knowing about it. You know that this person has toxic traits, that they're doing something deceptive that they're in the devil energy you know as as far as the way that they deal with you like you know it you know about it and if you don't know about it outwardly then you have you have a gut feeling about it all right so let's see what actions will this person take towards you this is for aries sun moon rising what actions will their person take towards them that they need to be aware of for their highest good what action what action please all right what actions We have the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> we have the Two of Cups and we have the Magician. This person is going to come back in. Uh, very manipulative, all right? Trickery. They're going to come back in as if they want the Two of Cups with you. And they're going to put you right back in a third party. Okay? Font, the King of Wands, the Page of Wands. So I feel like this person, um, they could be married. You know, this person could be, it could be a spouse. Could be the other person that they're dealing with. Being that the hair font is in the center of the reading. Nonetheless, this person, they're not going to leave the other person alone, okay? They're never going to leave that person alone. They, it's like, you know, yeah, they're married. This person is definitely married. Um... And it's, this is like, they know that the reason that they leave is because they, they start being guilt-written, knowing that, um, I feel like this person, is, you know, how can I say that without being offensive? This person claims to be, you know, religious, you know, uh, Christian or Baptist or Catholic or something to that effect is how they carry on but they do these things you know that doesn't go along with the faith that they claim you know this person is a pretender they really are they're very manipulative very manipulative 
get rid of so let's continue here all right this is for Aries Sun Moon Rising what actions what actions will this person take they're going to come back towards you and it's it's a sexual thing that they're looking for we have the four of swords yep there it is Coming back for sex, Knight of Pentacles, their player. Then they're going to be, once they do that, that's when they're going to leave again. And you won't hear from them. They're going to ghost you. And you're going to have a sense of, uh, you know, you're going to, your anxiety. You're going to have anxiety behind this. Sleepless nights, worry. Why does this person keep doing this? What am I doing wrong? And it's not you. It's them. They're playing on your emotions they're doing this because they know that you care about them but when we care about someone it's it's easy it's easy for the person that we care about to come in you know and um manipulate it's not you it's them all right so this person's gonna come back towards you but they're coming back for a sexual encounter it's all they're all about their passion they pretend they might say like what would oh what would god do um you know how would god feel you know about you doing you know x y or z or what would you know jesus do or it's like they do they say things like that to you to kind of um make you feel bad or you know god wouldn't want me to leave my my wife or my husband you know uh i'm i'm you know it's like they use that because they feel like if they do it that way, then it puts you in a position like what kind of rebuttal can you use against that? That's kind of what they're doing. All right. So let me see if I can get any advice messages for you, Aries. This is for Aries Summon Rising. What advice? What advice can you give Aries for this situation, please? What do they need? What do they need to do? What do they need to know for their highest good? All right, this is for Aries Sun Moon Rising. So, Aries, what we have is the inner temple, we have the initiation, and we have the uh, boundaries card. And we have star seed that wanted to come out. So, this is all about, um, this is about you needing to cleanse your heart chakra. You need to... Um, Set boundaries and this is about you accepting change yeah because you cannot control what another person does but you have total control of what you accept and so you're being called to change the things that you're accepting you're being called to work on your heart um your heart chakra it's probably a little too open it's not balanced and because of that you know you're just you're accepting you're sacrificing yourself you know your own happiness for the sake of others who are not taking your heart or your feelings into consideration and that's not how it's supposed to work so you need to set some boundaries, establish some boundaries, and make sure that people respect those boundaries and not cross them, okay? You definitely need to, you're being called to set boundaries uh, with this person, okay? So that's what I have for you, Aries. If this resonates with you, please follow the channel. Make sure uh, if you're one of my YouTubers, you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future 
uh, love journey readings and updates okay feel free to comment let me know if this is your story all right uh, if it does not fully resonate with you take the messages that did resonate leave the rest behind all right i want to thank you for watching we'll see you in the next reading